What's up, guys? Mr. Knows Hoops back today with another video. I really quick wanted to thank you all for all of your love and support on the most recent videos. We're about six subscribers away, I believe, from 600, and I know we can hit that before the end of this month. So please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord. We're watching games in there all the time. I always put a link in the description. So go ahead and check that out. And today we are talking about Scotty Barnes, who honestly has taken a very important leap for this Toronto team, I feel like to be confident in all these deals that they've been making in hopes of a rebuild slash retooling and that Scotty Parnes might be that centerpiece of the franchise. Averaging about 20, uh, six assists, eight rebounds on 49 from the field, which is really good. 37 from three and about six attempts a game. Incredible. And 75 from the line, which is eh, but 1.4 steals and 1.5 blocks. So without further ado, I want to get into this dive of what has helped Scotty Barnes take this leap. And the first thing I want to talk about him is a passer and a playmaker. And we're going to see how Scotty Barnes having the ball in his hands more has helped create a lot more for this team. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And this is after all the trades, the most recent game, right? We got Scotty here. They're about to run the pick and roll action. By the way, Scotty loves to seem to use this action as a passer and playmaker, which is very important to remember, right? So... What I love here about this play, it's nothing special, right? And I think sometimes we as fans kind of look for the flashiest pass or the flashiest read. But what is so great here about what happened is I, I'm sure, you know, film guys and all that tell you that he loves operating the pick and hard as a playmaker. So you see Levine sort of trying to reach over as like, a, okay, if he hits him here, I'm ready to pull over just in case. But And you even see Scotty's eyes, right? So he's trying to mislead the defense, but instead throws a little hitch. Right out to Bruce Brown, catch and shoot three, right? It's those little things that you can see the IQ of Scotty has increased and it's helping this team when it's needed the most, right? So again, you got Scotty here one-on-one, -on -one, runs a pick and roll this time with Bruce Brown, keeps pushing. Now, what he does here very well. Now, Scotty Barnes, going to clean the glass, is shooting about 71% at the rim. He doesn't have a whole lot of shots there. Um, I mean, obviously, a good enough volume, but... What the team is obviously doing now is that Vucevic and DeRozan are clearly like, okay, we're committing to this guy. Right? Boom. Beautiful bounce pass right down to Bruce Brown. Gets a tough layup. I just love the way that Scotty is using his scoring capabilities to now actually make teams have to respect him. And now he can show that he has that passing and playmaking to his game, right? Sets the screen here to help Schroeder get a little bit of space. Balls back out to Scotty. Right, you get that little bit of separation. Pulls in. Wait a second because make sure AD, obviously one of the best rim protectors in the game, is committed to defending you. And then kicks it out to Siakam in the corner for the three ball. Again, I just love the patience and the ability to know when it's actually time to move the ball. Right. We'll get an attempt here at a pick and roll. Rolls it again, right? Beautiful pass. Like, it's just so easy. And it, again, part of it is just to talk really to you guys about Scotty is loving to be the ball handler on these pick and rolls. And even as a scorer, he loves to be the role man. Like, I think what their coach has helped figure out is how to make the game simple for Scotty Barnes and how to make his role on the team a whole lot simpler which is obviously crucial for a young and developing player that the Raptors have now very clearly put their money on as their guy. Now, I do want to show one negative clip because I think it's always important to remember that your growth and development is not complete, right? And Scotty's averaging about 2.6 turnovers a game, right? First of all, beautiful steal here, right? Gets the ball back. But here's the issue at times. Scotty sometimes can get a little tunnel vision, can get a little, again, like almost not his old self. Excuse me. But, right, Bam reaches over. At this point, Scotty's just going in heads first. And you can see he's upset and complaining. Not necessarily the best look. But you're up 19, right? But again, there's better choices you can make. But what he's doing as a passer and a playmaker, you guys, I just can't, I really can't tell you enough how important that that really is because again to show that growth and willingness 
is very important. Especially, he's only in his third year and he's 22. So, this kid can only keep growing. Right? So, then coming in here, we're going to talk about Scotty Barnes, the defender. Scotty Barnes has been so active in passing lane. So active on his man. Right? Gets the ball to Miles Turner. Tips it up. Pushes it out. And just keeps fighting for it. Doesn't let there be a second to breathe. And that is so important. It's the effort he is giving that his new coach has clearly given to him that trusts in him. Right? Again, look, Scotty Barnes here. He sees what they're going for here with Jalen Smith. Backhands the ball. It's that ability to read the defense, right? So he sinks. Scotty sinks. And he's like, okay. Jordan Noir has to kind of go here with a little bit of an awkward pass. So he's like, okay. Pushes it, starts getting ready to make some moves. Again, pushes off the screen. And what I love here is Scotty is preemptively jumping. Again, this is how you know a guy who's really watched a lot of film. Tries to go almost for the no look over for the man rolling. Deflects it. Pushes the ball to get back inbound. By the way, beautiful no look inbound like it was 2K. But again, those are the things that I love to see from a young guy who's got a new coach now, has to sort of show his worth. And Scotty's showing he's an absolute dog. Now, again, you see some all NBA caliber defender? Not necessarily. But it's showing me he's a very good one. And one that you can genuinely be like, I trust you on this guy. And I know that you're going to give it your all. And you may actually make a play for us that leads to easy transition buckets. So, again, right, I want to also talk about him as a blocker. Because it's just the athleticism, guys. It, it's it's actually unreal just how well Scotty is, how good Scotty is as an athlete, right? Kyle Anderson slows by him, tries to go for it. Scotty, again, just wait. And now, what I love about this, too, is Scotty's release of the block is is more so for where he is going to put it. It's not so much of like, I see the ball going up. I'm going to hit it before it could go up. It's I'm going to wait for it just to leave his hand. Just at that apex of a release. And boom, against the backboard. Again, patience has become a big word for me. But I think it's important because I think that's where differences are made on defense and offense. It's a matter of a player's patience and ability to read when it's time to go. And again, it's just the uh, Scotty letting Jakob Hodel basically take care of Nas Reed up until, again, the apex to get the block and to just keep pushing. Scotty Barnes has just been nothing short of remarkable on the defensive end of the floor. Again, giving you almost three stocks, steals and blocks. I, I think that's extremely impressive. One and a half blocks from someone like Scotty Barnes is not expected. Uh, we just need to really emphasize that, like, the expectations are being exceeded so much. Right. And then I we obviously have to talk about his scoring. Right. What has helped make him a better, more efficient, you know, score? Well, part of it is, again, the simpleness of it all. Right. And I love this play again because it shows the IQ of Scotty developing. Gets the ball in the low post. Waits for Aaron Gordon to sort of sink into him. To go, okay, back out the shorter. Because then he has to commit to the possible three ball. Gets Jamal one-on-one. Uses a size advantage. Pushes over him. Gets a tough, uh, you know, basket. Love to see it. Force them to have to respect you in different parts of the game, right? Now, I come back out to Scott again. Pick and roll game. Uses it to get to the left side. Has Jokic one-on-one. Because right, Jamal, again, is defending this possible pass out to Schroeder. Tough lay, but goes right in. It's the, again, just the IQ of Scotty Barnes that's showing to have drastically increased. And again, stagger a little screen action here. Get Scotty top of the key. Right back out. And again, what I, what I was talking about earlier. Off-ball screen action here for the roll. Scotty is a very, very, very good roll man. Like... His ability to be in the pick and roll on both ends improving is honestly his biggest offensive improvement. 
excuse me, uh, you know, barring his three ball. Kicks the ball out here, right? Again, Scotty's in the lower post. See, Occam kicks it out. Back out to Schroeder. And this is what I love right here. Jokic, he pump fakes, right? But Jokic sort of sinks because he's like, this guy can attack, you know, the rim. But can instead just pull the little mid game. And in moments like that are what are so, so, so important for this team to succeed, right? Again, pick and roll action. And it's not to show that he's not without blame. Because to me here, he probably could have made a pass out to a Siakam, right? I mean, he's basically open. Instead, pulls this midi. Again, I think, though, at the same time, you have to acknowledge it. I mean, this kid is, he's first of all, he's still a kid. Second of all, he's finally like, I've got this figured out to some extent. I want to see how far I can take it. But at the same time, you have to make sure that he can dial your expectations. And honestly, you guys, I think this guy does have, you know, all-star capabilities. Like, no doubt. I don't think there's any doubt in my mind about that. i am been nothing short of impressed of what this man has been able to do. So, I really wanted to thank you guys for all your love and support. Let me know what you think of Scotty Barnes down below. Like, do we think that this is sort of, you know, oh, Amster, maybe he adds two, three points to, you know, his, his PPG next year and sort of just leaves it at that. Or do we think this is the start of something special? The start of someone who is a real threat in this league. So as always, guys, this was Amster No Hoops. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys. Peace out. Peace out.